Which antibiotics are helpful for styes? Styes can be really frustrating as well as painful and also disfiguring when they are very large on your eyelid. In today's video, we're gonna talk about which antibiotics could be potentially helpful and when they could be helpful in treating your styes. Hi everyone, my name is Dr. Sai Nagori. I'm a board certified ophthalmologist and you're watching the ifacts.com channel. If you wanna stay in the loop on all things related to eye health, having good vision, as well as other products that you can use for your eyelids and eyelashes, be sure to hit the like and subscribe button below. Now let's get into it. So I'm gonna discuss four different antibiotics. The first one I wanna talk about is a topical antibiotic. This is something that comes in a cream or gel form and you will need a prescription for it and it's usually applied on the eyelid two to three times a day. The name of this antibiotic is called erythromycin ointment and it's specifically formulated for use around the eye area. Sometimes if I see significant eyelid redness around the sty itself, it may be something that I will prescribe alongside with regular sty treatment, which includes warm compresses as well as eyelid massage and just keeping that eyelid area really clean. Now, while this antibiotic ointment can be helpful to sort of calm down the area around the sty, there's no really good evidence or studies that have shown that it'll actually help the sty itself heal faster. There is a second antibiotic drop that your doctor can prescribe to you if they feel like it's necessary. And this antibiotic has something called anti-MMP activity. Anti-MMP means that the treatment inhibits matrix metalloproteinases, which are a group of enzymes that break down proteins in the structures around the cells. MMPs are involved in inflammation, tissue remodeling, as well as wound healing. The name of this eye drop is called azithromycin eye drop, and it is also a prescription antibiotic, and it can help to prevent styes, but again, there's limited effectivity in treating a sty that has just shown up on the eyelid. But given the antimicrobial as well as anti-inflammatory elements, it could be helpful but patients still really need to do regular sty treatment, which is gonna be frequent warm compresses as well as eyelid hygiene. Now, the third antibiotic I wanna talk about is actually an oral antibiotic. If a patient has a really severe red puffy reaction, surrounding their sty on the upper or lower eyelid, we start to worry about something called preceptal cellulitis. This is actually a condition that requires an antibiotic for treatment, and it may not do much for the sty itself, but we really worry about preceptal cellulitis, which is an infection turning into something worse called orbital cellulitis. So in this case, we actually will prescribe an oral antibiotic, and we may do a topical one as well, but really for preceptal cellulitis, you're gonna wanna have an oral antibiotic on board. One of the drugs that I typically use in this case is something called Augmentin, and it offers broad spectrum coverage against a wide variety of bacteria. And again, we really wanna prevent any kind of preceptal cellulitis from progressing further into orbital cellulitis. Now, will this help the sty itself? Again, it can help reduce the inflammation and the redness surrounding the sty, but it's not gonna necessarily make the sty itself go away faster. I'm sure you're noticing a trend here that really this is more of an inflammatory process with the styes rather than something that is truly infectious that's just gonna go away with an antibiotic. Now the fourth antibiotic I wanna to talk to you about is something called doxycycline. So doxycycline can be helpful for cases of chronic blepharitis, especially when the patient has another condition called rosacea. But there was a study that showed that this antibiotic had limited use again when it came to treating an acute sty or an acute chalazion. This means that if you're really trying to get rid of that sty as soon as possible, antibiotics are really of limited use to actually make that bump go away. Antibiotics can help your eyelids and meibomian glands function better by reducing inflammation, especially in the case of doxycycline, which can be helpful for long-term sty prevention, but it's not a replacement for doing the warm compresses, doing eyelid hygiene, and even doing a little bit of massage on the eyelids to help express some of that oil out of your eyelid glands. It's a very common question that we get asked by patients, can you give me an antibiotic so this just goes away? But the evidence is really not there to support that. 
If you are someone who is prone to getting styes, we have another video on the channel that is really important for you to watch because it can help you to stop that vicious cycle of getting styes and chalazions. We also have a video about chalazion surgery, which may be helpful if you really have a sty or chalazion that is so big it really needs to be removed surgically. So to treat a sty, you've probably heard this before, you need to use heat, massage, and eyelid hygiene and keep the area clean. You can also consider something called IPL therapy, and you may need to even have the sty surgically removed if other things are just not working. Now remember that sty and chalazion healing takes time. Even if you have chalazion surgery done, the eyelid is not gonna look the way it looks before the sty just the day after surgery. It's gonna take some time for the inflammation to calm down in that area and the eyelid to start looking back to the way it was. From a doctor perspective, and a patient perspective. I've had a sty before and they're really tough to treat. So I really understand the frustration that patients have um, when they're asking about antibiotics and solutions that can help them to immediately kind of get that sty to go away. Remember that if you do have a sty, you can ask your doctor for antibiotics, but it's not going to replace doing the warm compresses, massage, as well as eyelid hygiene. I hope you found this helpful. Remember to hit the like and subscribe button below and support our channel. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.